If you've been on the internet recently, you might have heard about the controversy surrounding the upcoming game Cooking Mama Cookstar, or as it's been perfectly coined, the Cooking Mama drama. Rumor has it, if you load up the game, it connects to the internet and tries to use your Nintendo Switch to mine bitcoins for the publisher. A claim that is so absolutely wild, there is no reason to believe that- Oh wait, on the promotional site for the game, there's an actual mention for blockchain-based private keys. What the fuck? On top of all of this, the game seems to not only have been pulled from the Nintendo eShop after being live on it for a few hours, even though the game's official website still has a trailer up stating that the game is out now, people have also reported that the game has been pulled from store shelves, despite others who have verified that they were able to purchase it earlier. So what the hell is going on with Cooking Mama? How did a cutesy little game suddenly become the source of so much controversy? And does the game actually use your Nintendo Switch to mine bitcoins? Of course, I did the research, so you don't have to. And as always, if you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. The Cooking Mama franchise as a whole has always had such a strange beginning. The series' original creator, a Japanese developer called Office Create, was by all means a small studio, barely having any games released outside of Japan before making the first Cooking Mama game, which went on to far exceed any sales expectations, selling over 4 million copies in the US alone, with millions more being sold across Europe. Turns out when you take a cutesy looking game on the best selling portable console of all time and throw a little bit of marketing behind it, you're gonna do well. Are overcooked veggies making you wedgy? Well, don't just sit there. You need a new mama cooking for you. You need Cooking Mama World Kitchen. And Office Create took the success and ran with it, rebranding themselves as Cooking Mama Limited and making a total of 13 games in the series if you include the spin-offs. This is where things get interesting though, as they changed their name back to Office Create and now there is no mention of them on the packaging or merchandising of the new Cooking Mama Cookstar. On top of this, an Australian ratings board listed the game's developer as first playable productions. But this page has since been removed, and a new listing for the game mentions the publisher being Planet Entertainment, which also has their logo printed on the box art. Now, who is Planet Entertainment? Well, according to a press release on the website intelligence360.news, yeah, they are a Cincinnati-based company representing, quote, an all-star team of video game industry leaders, including the former PlayStation Europe president, the founder of Take-Two slash Grand Theft Auto, the former CEO of Guitar Hero and hitmaker developers of Halo, Quake, and NBA Playgrounds. And the brands they own include Bass Pro Shops, Cooking Mama, and Cabela's. Now, the page does go on to mention their CEO, Steve Grossman, who apparently was the former treasurer and receiver general of the state of Massachusetts. So we'll just call him a money man. And this press release really just serves to say, hey, other money people, we're looking for your money to make more money with video games. Look at some of the titles you might have heard your kids talk about. Remember Halo? Well, we know the people who made them, so trust us with your money. What's even more wild is that Planet Entertainment doesn't list a developer, only that they were the publisher. And if you look up the company's headquarters, it's just a house in Connecticut. And getting stranger still, Planet Entertainment doesn't even acknowledge its involvement with Cooking Mama on their website. Their logo is only printed on the box and the official website for the game itself. And Planet Entertainment's Twitter account didn't have a new tweet since early 2019. And we have proof that they did at one point have record of the game on their website, thanks to GoNintendo.com reposting their first press release of the game, which not only called the game Cooking Mama Coming Home to Mama, lol, but also mentioned, quote, unique blockchain private keys. Each purchase copy of the game will have a unique ID, which will be managed directly through the game's internal wallet storage. Players will be able to focus on Cooking Mama's user experience rather than cryptographic key management. What did I just read? So, how did this all come to blow up? Well, believe it or not, a group of people were genuinely excited for this game. The last Cooking Mama game hadn't come out since 2017 on the 3DS, and the fans of the franchise were excited to see a new game on Nintendo's latest console. The game was set to be released, it was officially announced as released, it showed up on the eShop for a few hours, and some people were actually able to find copies in stores, but it's mostly become non-existent. The only place that it can be found online is through a third-party vendor on Amazon. And maybe because more people on the internet have a lot of time right now, speculation started running wild. Thankfully, Joe Scrubbles at IGN did some fantastic reporting and got most of the facts of the matter. From what we can see from the people who have the game, it seems like pretty standard fare for a Cooking Mama title. It's a bunch of rudimentary minigames about cooking. What do you do? 
but a little bit of speculation went too far, and suddenly you have posts like this showing up on Twitter, saying that Cooking Mama will use your Switch to mine cryptocurrency and possibly steal your personal information as well. It's buck wild, but hey, welcome to 2020, I guess. And literally while I was writing this, an article showed up on ScreenRant.com saying that they were contacted by a member of the actual development team, which it turns out was the aforementioned first playable productions. Seemingly setting everything straight, the anonymous developer said, quote, The statement about cryptocurrency was all buzzwords. The head of Planet Entertainment knows very little about these things. He just put some fancy language to get potential investors who like that stuff. Again, Steve Grossman is a money man. The game is not the best product, but it made it through several vigorous reviews by Nintendo and Sony. There is no way crypto mining stuff could get through those tests. I doubt anyone at First Playable Productions would even be able to make such a thing. This person also went on to explain why Cooking Mama was pulled from the eShop. Apparently, there is a legal battle between Planet Entertainment and Cooking Mama's original creator, Office Create. Basically, it's a bit of a pissing competition between the two companies, with Office Create eventually pulling their strings with Nintendo to have the game pulled from the eShop even going so far as to block advertising. Back to the developer, quote, There were YouTube ads, websites, even TikTok ads that never came out. And now, the future of Cooking Mama Cookstar remains uncertain. As the developer ended by saying, quote, As I understand, Planet Entertainment is suing Office Create, having it removed for money lost. It's hard to say if it will ever be released properly. And that's kind of the ultimate bummer in all of this. The developers who worked on the game really just wanted to make the best Cooking Mama game that they could. Apparently they were longtime fans of the franchise, but there were also a lot of young developers. And this combined with the higher ups at Planet Entertainment interfering with them and pushing them to do certain things, it didn't turn out great. And according to the developer who spoke, the game was released without the team behind it even knowing that it was made live. Possibly because Planet Entertainment wanted to try and get it up on the eShop before Office Create could stop them. On top of this, you have the fans of the series who just wanted to play a new Cooking Mama game, and now it's not certain if they'll ever be able to. It's a lose-lose. People are saying that they expect the physical copies of the game to become collector's items now, but who knows. Maybe the two companies can work it out and the game will receive an official release, but even today, Planet Entertainment seems to be ignoring the claims of the lawsuit and instead blaming copies disappearing on the global pandemic, which would be a totally normal excuse but the cat's kind of out of the bag already, so why try to hide it? Either way, it's a shame for the fans and the developers of the game to not get their just desserts. Okay, I'm really sorry for that one, but I had to. Thank you very much for watching our video on the Cooking Mama drama. If you enjoyed this video, please consider checking out our Twitch channel, where we cover recent gaming news like this in the format of a game show every Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you watch it live, you can vote to influence who wins. Also, if you are able to, we do have a Patreon, and your support would be greatly appreciated, but never expected. And if you'd like to chat with us more, consider joining our Discord, where you can talk with us about whatever, and maybe join in our video game book club, where every month we play through a smaller title, and then everyone is free to come talk about it. But either way, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, have a wonderful day.